Safe to say Wisconsin's rivalry with Minnesota is alive and well. The Badgers and Gophers split their four-game regular season series, and last weekend they split a two-game set at Mariucci Arena. Wisconsin scored three goals in the second period, held off the Gophers 3-2 behind 36 saves from Jack Berry, including 17 in the third period, when the Badgers blocked 18 shots, nine by Peter Tischke. Then on Saturday, Wisconsin fell behind by two, rallied to tie it going into the third. Gophers eventually prevailed 3-2. Now this weekend, Wisconsin heads to State College to take on Penn State. I'm Brian Posick, the radio voice of Wisconsin hockey, and head coach Tony Granato joins us next on the Badger Hockey Digest. Here's a potential breakaway shorthanded for Cunning on a bad pass by the Gophers. More of a two-on-one. Cunning left wing, looking, looking, save. They rebound, Badger score! Aiden Cavallini, how are you doing? The Badgers take the lead on a shorty from the Italian Stallion. Lindhart now with it for the Badgers. 17 seconds to go in the period, and Lindhart scores on the power play. He kept it low. Shearhorn upset with himself, but that one somehow found the back of the net. We're even at two late second period. This is what collaboration looks like. This is what happens when a cardiologist in Appleton works step-in-step -step with specialists at UW Health in Madison. You see, when Terry's condition required a second opinion, his doctor turned to the cardiothoracic team at UW Health. Together, we made sure Terry got the care and the heart transplant he needed. Powerful minds, compassionate care, amazing results. UW Health, remarkable. Well, Tony, for uh, fans that either listened or watched or were at Mariucci Arena last weekend, that was a heck of a hockey series between Wisconsin and Minnesota. It seemed only fitting that they, you know, the two teams split the series and split the regular season series. But uh, I think Badger fans are very excited that uh, you go up there in that rink and play it as well as you did. So I uh, put the cap to you and your boys. It was fun. I'll tell you that. You know, you're always nervous going in. Uh, they were number four in the nation. We played them here. We saw the skill and speed and talent that they had, uh, but we thought we could match up well against them. And uh, um, obviously, it was a big weekend for everybody, just standing wise and, and where we are in the rankings and all that other stuff. And just like our team has all year, they've been ready for the challenge. And I thought there were two great hockey games. Um, both games probably could have won either way. Mm -hmm. And so ending in a, in a split is probably what both teams deserved. Um, and uh, <laughs> I'll tell you what, the kids played hard. And, and you got to feel pretty good about uh, the fact that, well, you, like you said, you walk into an environment like that, that was the third largest crowd that they've had in, in that building ever. Mm -hmm. uh, so the rivalry between Minnesota and Wisconsin is as strong and, and good as ever. So it was, it, was, it was a fun weekend. Yeah, and I actually thought as the series went along, your team got better. What did you I think? agree, too. I think, you know, it, it was the first minute of game one, they bank a, you know, a goal in from behind the goal line. Yeah. That guy made a nice play. It's a, it, and it hit Bear in the back and it went in the net. And you're kind of worried. Okay, this is not the way you want to start this series. How the kid's going to handle it? How's Barry going to handle it? Mm -hmm. And we just settled in and played. And you know, um, I thought the the game Saturday or sorry, the game Friday, the third period. They came after us. They're down three one at home. We got a chance to tie them in the Big Ten standings. They threw everything at us, and our willingness to block shots and take you know a pounding to, to protect that lead and victory was was uh, was really one of the points of the season where uh, you know you realize how much uh, our kids want to compete and how much they realize um, how, how close they are to get it I mean I mean give our, give our guys credit it was a heck of a hockey game. yeah on Friday night the Badgers had a season high 29 block shots sophomore Peter Tischke had 11 of them including nine in the third period he's paired with Jake Linhart and Jake was amazed with those numbers those are some crazy numbers first off um, I don't know how he's even walking after the game but I think he got pretty fortunate that he hit him in some not too painful areas so he could come back and play just as hard the next night is it kind of like a badge of honor yeah, in a way. I mean, the whole team gets pumped up. Uh, Tony loves it. Um, he gives the guys a lot of credit when we, uh, or like.
big block shot is like needed. He gives the guys a lot of credit. Blocking 11 shots in a game, I mean, that that's a really good weekend, let alone a that's single a game. season for us old guys. <laughs> I don't remember. 11 shots is unbelievable. It really was. It, and they weren't just block shots. These were saves. He kick save, glove save. You know, he blocked them with just about every part of his body. And, and we, you know, as a team, you know, we went into the third period knowing that we would have to block big shots to, to, to hold them off and to see the commitment that we had from it. And then once one guy does it, the other, everybody on the bench couldn't wait to get out there and try and block a shot. So it, it's a contagious thing. It's something that uh, um, as a teammate, you look at the guy next to you and you say, well, if you're doing it, I'm doing it too. So it worked out well. But I think Luke Cunning has always set the standard for that. There's your captain. In the five on three situation a couple weeks ago, the penalty kill situation uh, as well. And in that series, he made big blocks for us. And then, you know, Tischke with the 11 and one period, nine and one period in 11 game. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, it is. And then on Saturday, two power play goals in the second allowed Wisconsin to pull even. Gopher scored late in the third. Uh, and you had some chances there in the third period to win that hockey game. But you walk out of there feeling better about yourselves. I think the Gophers probably felt better about themselves, too, after that. Series. I think so, too. And Donnie, Donnie says this to me after the game. He goes, well, they made us better, and we made them better. And that's probably the right way to look at that weekend. Um, you know, I thought our level of compete from start to finish and really the opening face-off of, of Friday night's game through Saturday nights was, was as complete of uh, a competition level that we've had all year. And, um, you know, Minnesota, they probably on Saturday night with the, you know, we're, we're down 2 nothing, you know, in the first period. And here we come again. We bounce mm -hmm. uh, back in the second period and take the game, it looks like, in control and tied up 2-2. And uh, they were probably worried that, uh, you know, they might not get a win on that. So they give them credit, too. It's a heck of a hockey team, and, and uh, we'll probably see them again. Yep. A difficult stretch for the Badgers continues this weekend in State College PA against Penn State. More on the Nittany Lions coming up in just a moment. This is Lexi Rush. She's 10, and she's amazing. You see, Lexi was born deaf and couldn't hear anything. That was until her doctor in Appleton referred her to the pediatric specialist at UW Health in Madison. Now, two operations later, Lexi can hear everything. Powerful minds, compassionate care, amazing results. UW Health, remarkable. They came in and uh, they executed their plan. Uh, and they, they were the better team for the weekend, so we We've gotten better since then, and I'm sure they have too, but I think we're, we're ready for the challenge. Their rank's a lot different. It's really loud. Um, their student section just feels like they're on top of you. So it's a really fun atmosphere. Um, it's kind of like you against the world. And, um, I think we've done really well on the road like that and in those kind of games. So, uh, yeah, it's a different challenge, different atmosphere, but um, I think we're up for it. Well, I remember that series here in uh, the Kohl Center when Wisconsin played Penn State. Nittany Lions had come in. They were 0-4-1 in their previous five, and they took it to, to the Badgers winning both games. And now you get a chance to kind of avenge that, but really more so stay on course, play your game, and maybe uh, stay right in the thick of the conversation for an NCAA tournament then. Absolutely, and, and that's what we've positioned ourselves with, with the way we play. We position ourselves late in the season to, to get a tournament bid, but... We're not done with the work that needs to be done. Like This is a tough challenge for us. Uh, Penn State plays well in that building. The crowd is going to be crazy. Uh, similar to what it was like in Minnesota, the difference is it's a smaller building yeah. as far as the ice surface goes. Um, I think that fits our game better. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. Our, our kids are looking forward to it. That's that's what college hockey is. You know, you got four games to go and uh, in Big Ten play. If we play well in those four, we'll deserve a tournament bid. Yeah. What makes Penn State difficult to play against? I thought their four lines uh, uh, played pretty similar as far as how they came at you on the four check, how they transitioned the puck from defense to offense, um, and they worked. They grind, you know, they they did. They grinded us down as the, as the series went along. I think that's the same type of team we have. I think we wore on Minnesota uh, throughout the last two games, and we'll try to uh, initiate the play and, and play at our pace uh, in the Penn State series. I think if we can do that, um, I think there's parts of, of our game that Penn State didn't really see us play consistently when, when they were in our building. So I think there's some things we can do offensively against them. Yeah, what would those things be without I thought our, tipping your hand? Well, I, th I thought our four check. We didn't really establish our four check shift after shift uh, on a consistent basis. I thought we played a little bit too much on our heels. Um, 
and our puck support wasn't as good as it had been in previous uh, series or in the Minnesota series. So I think the energy is, is an important thing. I think you got to realize during a season, some games you're going to have it, and some games you might not have as much of it. I think that was the case in the Penn State series, and, and it's important for us to be rested mentally to go into that series and, and, and be energized and, and go after them the same way we did the Gophers. And as you mentioned, too, away from home this season, you've played well. You've, you've enjoyed these challenges. You're 10 and 4 away from the Cole Center this season. That's impressive, very impressive. It is. Our kids our kids have battled. Like I said, really from, from day one of the season, I, th I think our com compete level and our our push level as far as pushing each other to make sure we're ready to play has been really solid. The road sometimes you can play a simpler game. Sometimes when you play at home, uh, we got to score the shift or we got to make a play and, and you get a little bit fancy with it. So the road game may fit our style better. Uh, you know, and, and obviously we're going to have to play well this weekend to, to find ways to beat Penn State. All right, thanks for your time. Good luck. Thank you, Brian. Sure. Badgers head coach Tony Granato, Wisconsin at Penn State. Friday night's game starts at 6 o'clock. Saturday at 7 o'clock. Saturday's game is on the American Sports Network. You'll have to check your local listings. You can also listen to both games on the Badgers Sports Network and the BadgerSportsNetwork.com. For Tony Granato, I'm Brian Posick. Thanks for watching the Badger Hockey Digest.